Say hello to the ladybug, nature's cutest, most lovable insect, and also the naughtiest. That's right, behind closed curtains, these little red and black critters like to get down and dirty. And we mean real dirty. Turns out ladybugs are filled with more STDs than a swashbuckling pirate from the 16th century. And with Winterfest approaching, swarms of these creatures as wide as 10 miles will be searching for warm nooks and crannies in your house. Ladybugs, we mean, not pirates. So why are these innocent-looking insects so chock-full of diseases? And at what point exactly should we start covering ourselves in contraceptive devices to protect ourselves from these raunchy rascals? The Harlequin ladybird, most commonly found in Asia and North America, is notoriously bad at keeping clean. While it's not really native to Europe, it started appearing in Britain and the rest of the continent back in 2004, riding the autumn winds to different regions in search of warmer climates during the winter months, and apparently humping everything that moves. You see, Harlequin have a penchant for procreating like crazy. And unfortunately for local ladybug populations, harlequins also tend to be riddled with an STD called labulbanialis fungal disease. Now, not much is known about labulbanialis or the effect that it has on bugs. What we do know is that it looks pretty gross. The disease causes yellow, finger-like growths to appear on insects and is passed on through mating. Local European ladybug populations, which are already under threat of habitat loss, are being infected and affected by the disease. Harlequins are also known to bite humans. So what does that mean for our STD status? Well, fortunately for us, labulbanialis is a fungal disease specific to arthropods, which includes insects, crustaceans, centipedes, millipedes, and spiders. So unless you're part beetle, you should have nothing to worry about. Should. That's not the only known STD ladybirds are packing, though. A sexually transmitted mite, for example, is ravaging the two-spot ladybug population in Poland. This mite is interesting, as the only real negative effect it seems to have is that it sterilizes all infected females. Interestingly, this mite has played a big role in maintaining an ecological balance by controlling the ladybug birth rates and keeping their populations at reasonable levels. So while ladybirds themselves are surely freaked out about the spread of STDs amongst themselves, the reality is that this problem doesn't really affect humans at all. We're so biologically different that even if we were able to procreate with a ladybird, which we strongly don't endorse, you wouldn't catch anything. That's not to say these insects have no impact on your life, though. During winters, clusters Clusters of ladybirds find their way into people's homes to hibernate for the winter. They're relatively harmless, aside from the fact that they might get your pet a little sick if it eats too many of them. And they'll generally fly away themselves once the weather gets a little warmer in the spring. However, a big cluster of ladybirds can be unsightly in the home, and if you really don't want any insects around, you can always try some preventative measures. Filling any cracks or holes that those little buggers could use to infiltrate your defenses is a great start. Also, investing in a couple mum plants and scattering cloves and bay leaves around your house is also a great second layer of defense. While the aromas of these plants may appeal to humans, ladybirds seem to strongly dislike them and will generally stay away. You can check out the Brainiac channel to find more strategies to tackle insect infestations and other household tips and tricks. That said, ladybirds have been essential to human agricultural development. They're widely beloved by gardeners and farmers alike for their ability to chow down on plant-eating pests like aphids, which can damage crops and gardens. So all in all, while ladybirds may be struggling with disease, they're still about as harmless as insects come and wildly beneficial to our ecosystems. They're extremely effective at eating other insects that would meddle with our crops and gardens and are also generally quite pretty to look at. Their STDs, which to reiterate, are numerous, are incapable of affecting humans, so even if one does happen to bite you, just keep calm and put down the antibiotics. All it's gonna do is leave a red mark and a slight itch. In fact, the worst thing that could happen is that this STD problem causes ladybird populations to drop even further, in which case our agricultural systems will be in for a pretty tough time. Ladybirds are our friends, so no matter how riddled with STDs they may seem to be, let's cross our fingers that they stick around and use some protection.